The sky is deep blue and filled with stars. Lends a somewhat mystical cast to the world below. Today we're talking about Twilight Forest. If you're looking to learn more about mods, shaders, texture packs and all things related to Minecraft to making it better, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey guys, I'm Dee from DAB Works where we make content on the best mods mixed with shader packs and texture packs, letting our computers suffer so yours doesn't have to. Alright, big shout out to these guys over here. Thank you so much. This is from the previous video, the comments. And if you post your comments, I will give you a shout out in the video. So post your comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get into how to do it. Alright guys, so this is going to be a little part series of things that is going on here and uh, as you know, it's how we do. So, let's go and spawn the first one and let's take this menu away so you can see 100% nice. We're going to have a little look at what we have. So, on the next thing, so this is part 2, if you guys didn't know, um, we're going to be looking at this one, which is not you. So the first thing today we're going to be checking out is the penguin. So. Look how cute this guy is. Alright, and um, the penguins mainly, sorry, and the penguins are mainly found in the glaciers, um, in Twilight Forest. When falling, they'll flap their wings like chickens. Unlike chickens, however, they can die of fall damage. Of course, because they can't fly um, in the real world um, also. And they're very, very cute. Um, they may drop some feathers if they're killed, but yeah, they are not. They don't really do much, but they really make the world look Nice, especially in the glacier tone. Let's let's drop one. You see that? They fly. Oh well, okay, that was a bit glitched, but yeah. yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. So next we got the tiny bird spawn. Um, and the tiny bird is a mob, of course, in the twilight forest. There can be f four different colors. It goes in red, yellow, blue, and brown. They only have one health point, like one heart health point. So you can be killed pretty easy, but I don't know why you would want to kill it. And upon death, they will drop you two feathers. So let's just spawn him real quickly. And I'm not going to kill him. You guys can kill him if you want to, or her. Um, they're too adorable to kill. Look at that. Let's spawn a couple. Let's get the different colors. They're really cute. And like I said, they just make the world look really, you know. Imagine you're waking up, you know, out your house, and you see this. A whole bunch of little birds. It's like a, like a, I can't think of it, like a cartoon kind of vibe. Alright, anyways, let's go on to the next one. So next we've got the forest squirrel. Let me just move my notes. And um, this is what it looks like. It's a cute little guy. Must be a little fast, like, yeah, they realistically fast, like in, in the real world when you see a squirrel, they're out of here. Um, now, the forest squir squirrel can be found in the forested areas, of course. It only has a half a heart or one heart point of health, which means it can die from any source of damage. Like I said, once again, I don't know why you would want to kill it, but it's super cute. The eyes look a little weird, but. <laughs> no, no, from the front it looks cool, but from the side, the eyes go a little weird. It could just be my uh, my shader, but they're super cute. <laughs> Alright, let's get on the next one. Alright, so next we have this one over here is the forest bunny or funny forest rabbit. And they come in different variants. Um, also super, super cute for your forest, you know, make it look really nice. I mean, maybe in the enchanted forest would look really nice if they're just there. Um, you can you can breed them, or they can be bred or led with uh, seeds. Or any other items as tiny birds can. So pretty much the same thing as the tiny birds. Um, they just look really nice in the forest and the bunnies will occasionally look at the player. Bunnies attempt to escape with basically try and run. They'll look at the player and then they'll constantly try and run away from the player. As you can see they're doing right now. So they're going to come look at me. Yeah, and then they're going to run away. It's pretty realistic. They, they want to be friends, but they don't want to be friends. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one we have the raven. Raven, crow, I would say, you know. Really also gives the, you know, the nice, like it's kind of the underworld, but not really, I guess it's the underworld. And, and it gives you that, if it's a scary forest, you'll have these guys and they really kind of make you feel like you're in a horror movie, which is great. That's exactly what we want, right? I don't know, that's what I want. Um. So the ravens have five hearts, although their counterparts have 
are capable of flying, ravens do not fly away when approached and hop from a block to block. Ravens cannot be bred or led with either wheat or seeds. Ravens are fairly vulnerable mobs. It's getting a bit busy in this area, but anyways, um, so the next one we have is cobbled, right? And they look like this little guy. We saw them in the, in the first video. We saw him in the, in the cave, just chilling, you know. <laughs> He's just like pretty cute. All right, let's, let's let's get some information about him. So cobbles are part of the forest twilight. Well, twilight forest. So cobbles are part of the twilight forest. They are found in the hollow hills and can be found anywhere in its dark. They have 13 health, six and a half hearts. All right. And can deal damage 1.5 hearts. There are small cobble blue creatures with large ears. Cobbles tend to be in a, in a group in a large pack and the pack will attack at once. Killing one of the cobbles will make the entire pack quickly panic, giving you the opening of to either escape or kill another with ease. They drop wheat and gold nuggets. Cobbles sometimes drop books that tell you about the area, which is quite interesting to know. So the next one is the Death Tombs, and this is what it looks like. It's like Death Note. Alright, flocks of them lurk in the Lich or Lynch forest and other twilight forest structures. When damaged, they drop paper components of their force field. They have the ability to fire curses and induce negative potions effects, such as slowness. Let's have another look at that. He just, he just, is it swimming? Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna pop it over here because I don't want skeletons to come here. Pop a couple like that. Let's, uh. Oh, did I, sorry. I killed it, the bird. Oh, so you see, I got some paper. Get that paper, boy. Okay, next one. The next one we got is the Minotaur. If you watched any movie ever, you'll know what a Minotaur is. So Minotaur is a hostile mob added by the Twilight Forest. They spawn exclusively in labyrinths, as we saw in the in the previous episode. Um, and carry golden axes. They seem to be the minions of the Minnow Shrew. And if you don't know what that is, it's coming up next. So let's get the Minotaur out. There it is. So as you can see, they've got, you know, the golden axe right there, and where's he going? Should we go into the labyrinth? I hear a spider, and I hate spiders. What is going on here, guys? Can you just chill? I'm trying to do a video. All right, let's go into the next one. The next one is the mini shroom. Let's spawn that and have a look. All right, so it looks like the mushroom. Yep, there it is. Okay, so the mini shroom can be found in its own room that is filled with mycelium shrooms. Or mushrooms, not shrooms. Um, and has a f has four chests. One in each corner containing valuable loot. This room will have four entrances. One facing in each direction. Each four times four in size and filled with fence. Which prevents the mushroom from escaping from the room unless let out by the player. Or by an explosion that destroys the fence. A mushroom can be very rarely spawned with infernal traits. So here's a little bit of a treasure tip. Um, killing a mushroom will get you highly rewarded Minotaur Axe. This axe does bonus damage when a player is charging, sprinting. The mushroom will also drop three to five bowls of Meef Stroganoff, wow, <laughs> when killed. Mmm, I like some Meef Stroganoff. Um, there are also four chests around the room in which it lives with various loots from ironwood to steel leaf. I hear a spider. All right, so the next one we've got over here is the fire beetle. Let me take it away so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Fire beetle, I'm guessing, is the stuff on the trees that we've seen before. No, it's not. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, you know, I don't like bugs. If you've seen my previous videos, I, I yeah. <laughs> Um, so the fire beetle is part of the twilight forest mod. They can be found in the hollow hills and labyrinth. I think we saw it in the labyrinth when we went down there in the previous video. If you guys haven't seen that, check that video out. We've also got more on how to make the portal and everything there. 
All right, so that will be part one. This part two is going to be part three. Also talk about bosses. So that's going to be the next one that's coming up. All right, so anyways, they can burn you down with a fire breath attack and you should keep your range as best as possible. They have 25 health points and can deal about four worth of damage on their melee attacks. Jeez, okay, <laughs> these things are not friendly. Plus additional fire damage. Fire beetles drop gunpowder when killed. All right, let's just spawn another one. Let's have a little look. They, ugh, I don't like them. I don't... So they literally are beetles that make, f that make fire. Chill out, bro. You want to see fire? Let's let's see fire. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, everybody came out. Everybody came out to beat me up. Get back, boy. So next one we got is a slime beetle. Let's pop one up. Have a little look. Oh, we also saw, I think we saw this in the labyrinth also, if we're not mistaken, in the previous episodes. Um, so this is a slime beetle, and they can be found in the large hollow heels and labyrinth. There it is. They fire green slime balls like projectiles that deal higher, rather high damage, and are filled with incredible accuracy. They can also be potentially hard to hit, as well as when you get very close to them, they, they retreat for a distance, a range, so you probably have to use a weapon such as a crossbow or something. He looks very angry at me right now. Um, they drop slime balls when they are killed, and that makes sense because they are a slime beetle. Anyways, next one. The next one we got is a pinch beetle, and it looks like this. Oh, 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 okay. We're talking about bugs, and I'm not liking this. I'm gonna get on top of here. That is disgusting. He's got like his pinches, and the I've gotta lift my feet up. Wow. No, 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 chill, 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 chill. So he's obviously like, he's like a crab in the front, and he pinches you. Anyways, let's read a little bit more about him. These are the mobs that are found in Twilight Forest. They have 20 hearts worth of health, and can hit no, 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 hold on, I'm trying to freaking read, hold on, I gotta get on you guys, I don't like bugs at all. Oh, I suck. Okay, so, anyways, let's read that again. Um, so basically they've got 20 hearts worth of health and they can hit 4, four hearts of damage when grabbed. They can be found in the hollows, hollow hills, labyrinth and dark towers. Pinch beetles charge at you and grab your body. That's probably what I try to happen now. I don't like it at all. When in this situation, you want to quickly attack and kill them. They are very fast and can be extremely dangerous when near lava, a cliff, or enemies. I guess they kind of throw you in. Pinch beetles can suffocate you to the ceiling if too low. Uh, so they obviously pick you up and then you get kind of pinched in the ceiling and nice. All right, I see. Yeah, I don't want to mess with them. I'm gonna put one more down, but I'm gonna stay up here because I don't want to be down there. That is so nasty. Can you get out of here? Thank you. All right, let's go on to the next one. So the next one is a quest ram, and I've got a lot of information about this one. So let's see if we can uh, kind of make it a little bit less so you don't have to be bored about it. But so let's put this thing down. All right, so this is the quest ram. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again. So this is the quest ram right here. Whoa, 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 chill. Okay. Um, they look like this. All right, so let's, let's read a little bit about this. The quest ram is a very rare and special mob that spawns in the quest grove. It appears very large ram, not on the computer, once again. Um, very large ram with glowing stripes on its torso. They are very vulnerable as when they are fed one of each, the 16 colors of wool, they will return to the player one block each of iron, gold, emerald, or lapis, well, or diamonds. And as well as you, unique items from the crumble horn. They spawn only inside groves, which are found only in the enchanted forest, a biome that is rare itself. We went in, into the enchanted forest, it was quite beautiful actually, um, in the previous episode. So a biome that is rare itself, even then quest groves only have a chance of spawning if you find a quest grove, but no quest ram, wait patiently the quest grove and one will spawn. Wow, okay, interesting. So you're gonna give this one a very various uh, colors of wool and they'll give you a, a various item from some gold or nobody wants gold diamonds or yeah uh, lapis i don't know why you want that but anyways i mean there's some good stuff so you can you can kind of like gamble with them if you want to i don't promote gambling but that's quite cool. Once a quest ram, um, so once a quest ram's 
quest has been completed. The quest ram has received one of each color of wool and all the stripes have been acquired on its coat. It will reward the player with, as for mentioned, rewards. So that's the, the gold and all that stuff. So you have, to, you have to give them each color of wool. Okay, that's a nice quest. The quest ram will retain its, sti its stripes and the memory of the quest ram completion and not die. So the quest cannot be completed again with the same quest ram. This infinite generations of vanilla materials is possible. Very interesting. Let's spawn another one. Just because it looks so cool. That is so cool. Alright, next one. The next one we've got is May Slime. Oh my goodness. So obviously this looks like just, you know, slime you'll find in the maze. I mean, well, let's, 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 let's hear what it's got to say. So this is a mob that's included in the Twilight Forest and can be found in the slimes. This maze slime is included in the Twilight Forest mod that is almost identical to the slimes in the vanilla Minecraft. So they have 16 hearts and deal 3.5 hearts of damage. They are a cool gray color and spawn in the labyrinth, big mazes. The big maze slimes can completely block a path and cause the and cause them to be a common obstacle in the labyrinth. The player may find many of them in the labyrinth. Slime, may slimes drop slime balls and occasionally charms of keeping when killed. All right, so they will see them. You'll see a lot of these guys in the labyrinth. You have one more look at him. Oh, we got a little one. So they are identical. They just look a little bit different. They got the cool, the cool gray color. All right, and let's get on the next one. The last but not least, we have the Mist Wolf. And this is what it looks like. Whoa, that's cool. Why are the wolves so angry? I mean, yeah, sure, in, in, in real life, wolves are angry, but there's a lot of noises happening. Get out of here. Sorry, sorry, chill, chill, chill. Okay, so we put another one down so we can have a little look and we can talk about it. All right, very angry. This is a mob that's added to the twilight forest and it only spawns in the dark forest and it is twice as big as the vanilla wolf. Although a mist wolf will tilt its head when the player holds a bone as normal, it cannot be tamed. So they just don't want friends, basically. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the video right here. You guys can click on this video over here for part one or well, this video it's kind of recommended from YouTube on my channel to you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace guys.